All right, there have been a lot of headlines lately about matter. It can seem really technical and confusing, but for us in our smart homes, it's actually not. So that's why I'm making this video to simplify all the info out there about matter into one short video. And I'll be answering questions that I've heard recently like, should I wait to buy matter devices? Or what will happen to my smart home once matter comes out? So let's take a dive into this, but I'm gonna keep this video simple, so not a deep dive, kind of like a shallow dive? Or uh, maybe not. Okay, so what's matter in a nutshell? Well, it's a standard for your smart home that simplifies how your smart home works. Basically, it will make your life easier, and it does that in three ways. One, it will be able to work locally without the cloud. This is probably my favorite thing about Matter because devices will have a much longer lifespan. For example, say you buy this smart light bulb. It works great, but after a few years, the company goes under. And if it's not a Matter device, you might not be able to use it anymore. But if it does use Matter, you can keep using it with no problem because the connection is local. There's a lot of other benefits of this too. Like a lot of voice commands from Amazon will run locally with Matter, which is pretty sweet. Since Matter runs locally, you don't need that smart light company's cloud server to run to use the light, or even their app, which leads me to the second way Matter makes your life easier. Setting up devices is streamlined. There will be a Matter QR code that you'll just scan with your phone, and then it will use Bluetooth to connect to the device or to commission it, and that's just gonna streamline the process for everyone, making it so much easier. And technically, you won't need a bunch of smart home apps, you would just need one, which would be awesome to get rid of all that clutter. The third way matter will make your life easier is compatibility. If you're at the store and you see a smart device that works with matter, then you'll know it will work with your system. Oh, and about the matter puns I keep hearing, you might think that it doesn't matter, but in a matter of seconds, you could lose respect from others. No matter how clever it is, this could be a matter of life and death if you don't take this matter seriously. Whew, okay, I'm glad I got that out of my system. Let's move on. As you can see, matter seems like it's gonna make our lives easier, but what about our existing smart home devices? Well, when matter is released, it will not make your current smart home devices obsolete they'll continue to work the same way they do now, so I wouldn't be stressed about needing to upgrade. Plus, companies are committing to pushing firmware updates to their existing devices to support Matter. For example, Philips Hue has said they'll update their second gen bridge so all their lights connected to it will work with Matter. This is why I'm so excited for Matter, to see Paul Hibbert finally admit that Philips Hue is great. Philips Hue is great! Correct. Beautifully put, Mr. Saki. Now, what if you're just starting out with your smart home? Should you wait to buy Matter devices? The answer is maybe. You see, when Matter rolls out, hopefully sometime in 2022, it will only support certain device types. It will not initially support devices like video doorbells. So when Google released their latest video doorbell, people were angry it didn't support Matter. Well, they literally couldn't because it doesn't even exist yet. But if you are planning on buying some smart home devices that will be supported soon, then it might be worth waiting. Emphasis on might, because matter keeps getting delayed and we don't know when it will be released, or if all the companies that say they're on board will actually support it. I think it's a personal decision because the choice between waiting and getting something now have equal pros and cons to me. I made a poll on Twitter asking you if you think Matter will change your smart home. Many of you said it will stay the same, but I liked how many people said I have no idea. There's been a lot of hype about Matter, so it might seem like big changes are coming to your smart home. The reality is, everything will feel pretty similar to the way it is now, especially for us consumers. Mainly because if you're using a smart speaker from Amazon or Google, or a hub from SmartThings HomeKit or Home Assistant, those systems will receive an update once Matter is released to work with existing and new Matter devices. But then you'll just use the same app you already use to control those devices and automations. Of course, there'll be some differences that we already talked about, but some of the benefits already 
kind of exist. Say you buy Philips Hue lights and then tomorrow they go out of business. Right now you can connect those Hue light bulbs directly to the latest Echo speaker and control them without the Hue bridge or app since those lights use Zigbee. That's because Zigbee and Z-Wave devices already work locally and will continue to work if their manufacturer goes out of business. That's a huge reason why people buy them. But Matter is going to do things slightly different, and it will make things more accessible to everyone. Instead of using Zigbee and Z-Wave, Matter will be using Thread. It's similar in that it uses low power and builds a mesh network between devices, which is great for sensors and actually lots of smart home devices for a more stable connection. But with Thread you don't use a hub, instead you use what they call a border router, which functions similar to a hub, but you can have multiple border routers running at the same time, so your mesh network will be more reliable. There's actually a lot of devices out there right now capable of being a Thread border router for Matter. Echo 4th Gen, Nest Hub Max, HomePod Mini, and Home Assistant Yellow to name a few. There's also a USB stick they're working on to add Thread for Matter support to your existing Home Assistant setup. So from a consumer standpoint, your smart home will be more reliable, but work pretty much the same way it does now. For manufacturers, it's a different story. They don't need an app, so they can focus mainly on the hardware and devote less resources to software and cloud servers since Matter will handle all of that for them. So overall Matter could be a big win for everyone and it solves many of the issues we have right now in the smart home space, so I'm very excited for the future. Hopefully you understand Matter a little bit better now and thanks for watching. Hey, Reed, could you come help me with dinner? It's only a matter of time before it's a disaster. Good one, well I have a matter to attend to. What? Come on, this is a serious matter. As a matter of fact, you're right. Just forget it, forget it, it doesn't matter. Well, if you need me, no matter what it is, I'll be sitting over here. What, I just said I need you. What is the matter with you? It just must be my mind over matter. <laughs>